亚裔移民在政治、经济、文化等方面对美国的发展和进步产生一定的影响，贡献良多。今天为您介绍的新闻人物是以《中国超级消费者》一书而在美国主流社会走红的作者陈少红。Welcome to Asian Who is Who. I'm Stephen Yao. Today we are pleased to have Mr. Sabio Chen to our show. Mr. Chen, how are you? Thank you. No, you have numerous uh, experience in uh, this area, especially for the uh, marketing area. And I heard you have a new book uh, published uh, last uh, September, right? And this book, uh, I believe, is a kind of a, consists of more than 20 years of your experience, your research in this book. Tell me uh, some uh, detail about uh, your book. Well, the book is called China Super Consumers what one billion customers want and how to sell it to them. We want to tell people about the history and culture of China consumerism, how they become where we are today and become the most important consumer class in the world. So in the first half of the book, we talk about the history and the culture and heritage of China consumerism and to give people an understanding about Chinese culture, how we become who we are and to give them a, a guide of if you want to understand how to sell to Chinese consumer, you must understand who our culture and our history first. Yes. So you understand our motivations of why we buy what we buy. And then the next half of the book is about 10 case study about all the chairman and CEO that we interview who are doing business in China consumers and what they're doing now, what they've done in the past, what they do right or wrong, what they're doing in the future. So it's a combination of the know-how and the resource as put together in one, in one book to share with people about how they can better serve the Chinese consumers. Your story is very, very helpful for, for uh, a Chinese uh, businessman, I believe, especially for young people. Uh, they want to do business uh, with uh, people in the United States. So uh, what kind of the, the rate you believe will be the most uh, benefit from your book? Well, I think that the, the, the most important benefit is to understand the, the reasons behind the decisions, mm -hmm. why they want to do things a certain way. Because it's very commonly, oh, people think, well, you Chinese, you're just, just like American, you buy the same thing that we buy. You buy Louis Vuitton bags, you buy, drive BMW, you drink the good wine. You're just like us. Well, that's not true. We are not like them. There are similar, similar aspects, but we are also very nuanced in terms of our behavior. But you have to understand our culture and history to understand that. So for example, Chinese tourists, when they come to the uh, U.S., uh, in New York area, they go to New York, try to stay area, or come to here, they will stay in an inexpensive hotel, you know, for, and they put a lot of people in the hotel. They don't care about the hotel. They're spending, they spend minimum amount of money to stay in a hotel. But when they go to the, do the shopping, they will drop, on average, $8,000 per person mm -hmm. and buy all these, you know, you know, bags and, and, and Gucci work bags and, and shoes and things for themselves and for their friends. Because it's, number one, it's a lot cheaper to buy the same items in China, than here than in China. There's no luxury sales tax, you know. It's at least 30 to 50 percent cheaper. Number two, you know, when they own all these, you know, products, they feel that they have, you know, arrived. They have now, they, they have had the status symbol now. They are now owning all these luxury good products, make them look good and feel good. It's good for their face. So, in Chinese we say, so, so they love it. So you have to know what kind of things they do and what kind of things they don't, they don't do to service them well. Thank you for all uh, watch our program and uh, see you at the next episode of Asian Hoi Hoi.